Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. We are looking at Block Lords and some interesting stuff has been happening in Block Lords. Um, so uh, the first Lords token airdrop has happened. So 300,000 tokens have been dropped. Now, as far as I can see, the token isn't sort of live yet on exchanges. So we, we don't really have any idea of what the price of the tokens um, are or anything like that. Um, but you can see here, uh, well, if you look very closely at the top of the screen here, so uh, I got 21.9 or 21.9, yeah, um, almost 22 Lord tokens. So so uh, not an enormous amount, but equally it's an airdrop, so <laughs> not nothing either. Um, so happy for, happy for that. Um, and now the token is live, at least in the game, um, there's some new functionality that has come around it, which um, we're going to look at in, in this video. I um, should also point out, uh, bring it up here, so there is a second airdrop coming. So this is going to be, I think it's 250, here we go, 250,000 Lord, Lord's tokens, so um, roughly, the, slightly less than, than, than the first one, but um, you know, a decent amount, I suppose. Um, so it's happening in uh, 52 days time. So this is a sort of countdown. So it's, t it's telling you this is the snapshot. So it's obviously wants to encourage people to start playing the game. Um, quite a high requirement, I would say. Um, so the previous airdrop was quite open. So there were sort of two different, if anyone was just playing the game, they would get an airdrop. Um, and then there was like another one for NFT holders. This one here is... Um, uh, the requirements very simple really uh, you have to have at least eight heroes imported into the game um, so that's got a tick on there because I've got more than eight uh, heroes at NFTs so um, when I was buying the NFTs and not look recently I mean when you create when you create an account in the game you get a free NFT so effectively uh, they're free um, but when I was buying them they were like you know 50 cents a dollar something like that um, that may change now because people have to be bu buying them to get this airdrop so now they sort of may, may have some sort of nominal value uh, the, the, the uh, harder thing I think is a level 8 foreman house so that's that's pretty um, difficult I don't even know, know if I can do that so my, my foreman house is currently level 3 um, so there's going to be an awful lot of grinding to get to the level 8 one I think um, it's going to take me grinding to get to level 4 because like obviously every time you level up you need to use more and more resources so that's going to be pretty difficult I think even in 52 days we'll see how we get on obviously I'll try and do it but um, not quite sure anyway um, so there's other so so I think you need to do these two things to get any of the airdrop so if you don't do these things you don't get the airdrop so this is, this is sort of quite a committed airdrop and we can see here um, sort of how it's breaking down um, so there's, there's different uh, ways in which you you access the, these these pools. So uh, you need to do these to get anything, and then um, owning as many heroes as possible, or claiming regions, or blah blah blah, to defeat as many farm invasions. Um, so that's how it's going to work out. Um, so what uh, what does it actually let us do? Um, that is the important thing. So um, here we go down the bottom. Here we have these. We have the Lord's Hub. We have this influence store, gift code, and check in. Um, so we're going to look at the Lord's Hub. So we can see here it's got my my coins are listed here. I've got no influence. Um, now you have to lock the tokens to claim influence. So this is the idea of we have this in crypto a lot about staking. So you may stake some tokens. Uh, you're locking them into typically a smart contract, um, so you can't access them or sell them. Um, but you're getting sort of a uh, we can think of it as an interest rate in terms of like like traditional finance. Um, so many things like a DeFi contract, in particular, like something like Aave, you could lock your Aave tokens in and you would gain, I can't remember, I don't know what it is at the moment, 5% or something like that. Um, but they're obviously, you're creating, they're creating tokens so they can sort of give them away. And often these uh, blockchain projects will have an allocation of their to tokens, total supply will be allocated to staking the re rewards. This is a bit different. So we're not staking Lord's tokens to get more Lord's tokens. We're staking tokens to get this uh, other um resource influence so this is a blockchain cryptocurrency this is a in-game um sort of a, i guess we can think of it as a currency maybe so what have we got here so i'm gonna obviously uh well not obviously but i am going to lock my uh all my lords tokens i mean i even if i wanted to sell them i can't at the moment and i don't think it's <laughs> i don't think they're going to be a vast amount of money i don't <laughs> um, i say i have no idea but um you know so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna retire on the 21.9 Lords tokens. So I'm going to lock them all in. 
and there's a lock period so I can minimum is two weeks uh, maximum is a year whenever I do this to be totally frank I always lock it in for as long as possible um, you know I'm not doing this to make uh, <laughs> to make money I'm doing this to understand how these games work and play the game so so this is not a financial thing uh, for me this is not financial advice um, you maybe you shouldn't be doing this I don't know maybe if you've got some laws tokens you should <laughs> be waiting to sell them um, but I'm gonna lock them in for as long as possible and we can see here obviously the longer you lock them in the more influence you get so I'm gonna lock my 20 um, 21.9 laws tokens in the ratio I don't know what that means um, so it's going to unlock it obviously in a year's time um, and my daily influence is going to be 74 so um, obviously well, okay, actually have a look at me if I only do it for two weeks um, I get I get 22 daily influence so by locking it for longer obviously I'm getting you know three times almost three times more it's more yeah it's more than three times isn't it um, so let's uh, do that it says limited offer to lock oh there's also if I lock my Lord's um, tokens in, I'll get some extra in-game gifts. It says, so that's nice. So I'm going to do that. It's going to say, um, do I confirm? So interestingly, um, I. So there are some blockchain elements in this game at the moment, in the sense that I've got NFTs in there. But this, I think, is I. I've not connected a wallet in the sense that I'm not going to. I'm not going to do any uh, signing blockchain transactions here. So this is happening. I imagine they have a, um, a wallet, a custodial wallet that they own the keys on. I don't own the keys, or maybe they don't own the keys. Maybe it's a maybe it's a multi um, multi key system that they don't own them. But anyway, I can't access these keys. So in a sense, it doesn't matter because you know th this token isn't sort of really uh, live yet in, in the sense you can sell it. But um, here we go. There we go. So that's all happened. I'm sort of slightly assuming that uh, <laughs> this is um, this is happening on the blockchain. <laughs> um, can I extend the lock? I can't extend the lock yet. No. Um, so here we can see. So my um, my collected influence is zero at the moment, um, but I'm going to get 74 at a time. I can get some more if I can get some more Lords tokens. I can lock those in and, and increase my um, my influence. Uh, we can see when it unlocks. I can uh, okay. So in um, 10 minutes time, I can add some more Lords token if I've got any. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't got any. Um, uh, so so that's that. So. Um, I guess the interesting bit here is um, how I get my influence. I'm guessing it says daily influence, so it's probably gonna. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get my influence, <laughs> um, unless I hit recharge. What's that gonna do? Oh, interesting. Okay, so I, I could just also I could just buy influence. So um, you could just you could use your lord's tokens, not stake them, but just use them as a as a currency and buy influence. Um, so. What I've done is I've staked my laws tokens, and I'm going to get for that whole year. I'm going to get 74 influence a day. But if I want a thousand right away to do some sort of spending, I can actually do that as well by spending the currency. So we can sort of see the Lord's currency is a cryptocurrency. It has functionality in the game in terms of this staking, but also it is a it is a currency that you can use to spend to get this influence. I don't really know what influence <laughs> what I do with influence, so that that will be another interesting learning thing. Um, so we'll put that away. Um, so let's see. I don't know if it's gonna. What's this gonna come up here? Okay. So this is the influence store. So I don't have any influence. I don't think it's showing. Uh, no, because it'll be here. Um, you can see also up here my Lord's token has gone to zero. Obviously, um, I haven't lost them, um, but they're not, they're state, so I can't you know I can't spend them or use them. So it's showing zero here. So my influence store. I could uh, buy a basic lumberjack zero. Uh, lumberjack heroes. <laughs> excuse me. I'm trying to read what it says here. Um, I can buy ten of these. So I wonder. If, so a hero in this context means a NFT. So um, I could, if I had two thousand of this influence, um, I could buy one of those. So obviously I get seventy-four a day. So it's going to take me <laughs> quite a long time. Uh, how many is that going to be? It's like um, uh, how many are you getting? So that's about uh, I'm trying to do the maths in my head. Getting seventy-four a day. Times by ten, that's seven hundred. So it's about a month. Is that right? Yeah. In about a month, I'll be able to buy one of these a month at the current rate. Um, or there's a starter pack here, a resource and hero pack that can help you in early. So a thousand will get me um, one um, one sort of entry level. Uh, this is a farmer. Um, okay, so I get one of those. Some gold, some resources. Um, Okay, so we can see there's like a little, some bit of retailing going on here. Um, what else we got? 
about 12,000 12, uh, influence here for a legacy lumberjack hero. Part of these are these are um, sort of functional in the game, but also these are sort of, um, I've never seen one of these lumberjack heroes. So I've never seen this artwork. So this is a sort of a character. So they may be they're useful in the game and maybe sort of, you know, have that sort of NFT type, um, type attribute going on as well. Uh, anything here? So that's that one, that's that one. Oh, okay, so proper store here where I can buy uh, packs of uh, items. So these are in-game items that I'm creating in the game. But if I want to sort of speed things up, I can use this, my influence, do that, looking like 10,000, 1,000. So so my 74 a day is not going to get me very far. I'm going to have to wait. Um, uh, well, it's more than 10 days, isn't it? I'm going to have to wait um, uh, a certain period of time. <laughs> 15, 14 days or something. Um, and what's the auction? Okay, so these are unique heroes. So these are um, one-off heroes and these are super expensive. So when they were selling these, these were selling for, I think the cheapest one was like $1,000, $2,000. Some of them are sold for like $10,000. So the, these are sort of the, the very highest level NFTs in the game. Um, so uh, those are gonna be millions of mi millions of influences. Obviously, you know, if you have, this is the sort of the idea people might wanna, uh, when they obviously getting free tokens from the airdrops then people when they're on exchanges people might want to go and buy a thousand dollars of of, of laws tokens stake it and then they're getting this influence all the time and then they can start sort of getting this sort of stuff for free but they're, they're investing in the in the in the token in the first place so um nothing i can do with my influence at the moment because i haven't got any <laughs> so we'll have to do some more videos about the influence i get when i've got it i suppose uh, but thanks for watching this video and uh, see you again soon.